What's going on guys? Today, project on my 92 W250 is we're going to be installing an oil bypass system for the engine. And the oil bypass system that we're going to be installing is from Amsoil. And we've sort of fabbed up the uh, lines and just used Amsoil's bracket in their filter. But just in case you don't know what an Amsoil or what a bypass filter is. Um, so basically, on the en on any engine, you have a full flow oil filter, and in this case, my full 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 flow oil filter is right there. And what the engine's full flow filter does is filter out any contaminants in the oil um, to a certain micron rating. And what a micron is, is basically just like a particle size. So a full flow filter will typically filter out um, particles around 20 to 40 micron range. And what a bypass filter does is take some of the engine's oil at a time and filter it down to an even lower micron rating. And in this case, Amsoil's bypass filters um, filter at a micron rating of about two at a high efficiency rate. So basically an engine can't do this all the time because the um, engine's oil pressure is always at a certain pressure and the full flow filter can only take so much at a time. So it's a good idea um, to install a bypass filter because most engine wear occurs at um, particle sizes below the full flow filter's micron rating. So, what we have here, um, we got the filter head from Amsoil, that's just this piece, and then what we did was we went to Princess Auto and got some fittings um, to match up to the in and out ports on top, and then the bypass filter itself, which will mount to the bottom of the head and then what you need to do from there is just find a high pressure port on the engine and in this case um, we got oil pressure coming out of here which is just above the full flow filter and that'll give out um, constant oil pressure and we got these hydraulic lines from Princess Auto um, and this will run all the way over to here, which is where we fabricated this custom bracket to mount the um, the bypass filter, and then it'll, so it'll go into here, and then the outline needs to go back to a non-pressurized um, return for the engine. So the oil, in this case, you can either tap into your valve cover, um, your engine oil fill tube and even your oil pan if you really wanted to. But in this case, we just um, thread it into the side of the plastic engine oil fill tube. So the fittings that we got um, were eighth inch NPT to quarter inch NPT. So these eighth inch NPT fittings are for the filter housing and also from the pressurized oil port above the full flow filter, that's also an eighth inch NPT. And then the hydraulic hoses that we got were quarter inch NPT. So we got these adapters to go from the eighth inch MPT to quarter inch. And then this is just attaches directly to those hydraulic hoses. Before the bypass filter head got here, we spent a day fabricating up this bracket for um, the mount of the bypass filter. And what we did was we used the existing bracket or bolts for, this is the um, speedometer control unit, or not the speedometer control, the cruise control unit and it has its own bracket with three bolts so we made use of those three bolts at the bottom and then essentially just put up a big plate with a little reinforcement at the back side and welded that all up and then painted it and then the uh, the head for the filter will just mount there and then the bypass filter below it. So the main idea behind using a bypass um, oil filter system on your engine is not only to reduce the wear on the engine uh, 
over time. And yeah, you can say that this engine, it already has over 200,000 kilometers on it, but it's never too late to install um, an oil by bypass filter system like this to prevent future wear. Also with a bypass filter, you can extend your drain intervals. So in this case, I was running conventional motor oil, um, Rotella T, um, for the past two years that I've owned the truck. And I was considering switching over to Amsoil's full synthetic motor oil. So I researched a little bit and what I'm gonna be doing is um, extending my drain interval and using oil analysis at the same time. Um, to see if my oil is good or not. Um, that way that will save me from doing oil changes uh, at a frequent interval and extend the life of my oil. So after researching around a little bit and finding an oil analysis place around here in Ontario, we found a place called WearCheck and what we did was take a sample now. This is the old Rotella T conventional stuff that I was using and what I'm what I'm really want to see is how the shape of the oil was before um, the bypass filter and also um, the change from conventional to synthetic so I've been running this for about a year now just this conventional stuff um, not too many kilometers on it I can't remember how many kilometers I put on it but um, I'm going to get that analysis done and then probably about a year from now or a um, certain amount of miles or kilometers I'll get an oil, another oil analysis done and then I'll be able to compare um, the result of the old stuff with the new synthetic and the bypass filter. Okay I just want to show a little bit more in detail about what I've done with my return line. So what we've done is put the hydraulic hose to an eighth inch MPT fitting into the plastic fill tube on the engine and what we did was just drill a hole and tap it to eighth inch MPT and the return line will just go in there. I don't have a nut on it or anything because I don't want to risk having um, any nut fall into the timing cover um, and get caught in the gears or anything and also a preventative measure since this tube is only plastic um, and this is secure but just to prevent it from ever coming off, what we've done here is just put a little a little L bracket going from this tube to the hose and then a hose clamp around the tube and this bracket and a hose clamp around the bracket and the hydraulic line here. So that'll never move at all. Just just as a safety measure. We also put a coat of RTV around those threads as well to prevent any leaks or whatever backing off. So when doing a little bit of research of switching from conventional to synthetic, I'm unsure of how long this truck's been running conventional, but I've been running it for two years. And what I was reading online is to do a some sort of flush to get rid of any uh, carbon buildup and stuff like that um, before you switch over to synthetic. So I've got this from Amsoil. This is an engine flush. Um, and what it says on here is basically you pour this in your uh, oil fill tube before you change your oil and then you just um, run your engine for a little bit, I think it was 15 minutes. Um, don't drive it or anything, just run it and then uh, as soon as you're done running it for the amount of time you just um, drain your oil and then put in your new oil. Okay so we're just adding the Amsoil engine flush now. Okay now I'm just going to let it idle for 15 minutes and we'll pull it back in the shop and immediately drain the oil and uh, put in the new synthetic stuff. Okay, so while we're waiting, I just want to show you the bypass filter and the uh, full flow filter that I'm going to be using now. So the bypass filter, the number on it is EABP100. There's one size below this you can get, or there's one size above it um, for filter sizes. And this is the biggest one that we could fit in there under the under the hood. And then for the full flow filter. It's a EAO80 is what I'm going to be using. And then for the oil itself, from Amps Oil is their synthetic diesel oil. And I guess they call it their signature series, 15W40. 
So a uh, bypass system only draws a small amount of oil at, uh, at a time. So how it does this is it uses the um, oil pressure of the engine, but in the, the inline of this filter housing, you can see where it goes in, and then that would be there in the, in the filter housing, and then it would go through the filter, and then the out port of the filter, which is there. There's a small little hole there, and that's what um, reduces it from full flow to uh, only a small amount at a time. So your return line only gets a little bit of oil coming out at a time. And what they claim online is about 10% of the oil is drawn um, at a time when the engine's running. So when you're driving and using the engine, um, all of your oil will be filtered in a matter of um, 15 minutes or so or something like that so you're always running with clean oil. At the same time when we're doing this oil change I picked up um, this is called a Fumoto valve uh, for the oil change and what this does is just replace the, uh, the bolt on your oil pan with a little valve so this way um, after I change the oil and put this in this will be on the bottom of my oil, oil pan when I go to do oil samples it'll be really easy to take a sample, all I have to do is flip this valve down and it opens up just a little ball valve in there and then I can close it when the bottle's full and then send off a sample. And I got that from Gino's Garage. For all of our fittings, we're also going to be using Permatex thread sealant, um, so that way we don't, don't develop any oil leaks over time. And this is suggested for oil lines and uh, fuel fittings and stuff like that. Yum. That's what the engine flush does. Look at how black that is. Yeah. Okay, so I've mounted the filter head and ran the lines um, to the top of the head in and out. Um, with my fittings and use the sealant so hopefully it doesn't leak and now I can go ahead and put the bypass filter on and start it up and see if there's leaks. Here's the new Fumoto valve installed um, pretty low profile and it'll work well. Alright so we've got the bypass filter all mounted up and filled, engine filled with oil now we can run it and test for leaks and then we'll be good to go if there's no leaks. Alright, we ran it and found that there was no leaks. Um, the bypass return line worked well. And I opened up the oil cap and saw that the oil was returning to the oil fill tube at a leisurely pace and not at a high pressure. So that shows that the bypass is working well. And now we'll just leave it for a little bit. Um, check the oil level again and top it off if it needs some more. So hopefully this helps if you're looking into maybe keeping your truck for a long time and um, keeping your engine working well. Um, this is how you install a bypass filter, and in this case an Amsoil bypass filter. Hopefully this helps, and thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing a um, fuel filter upgrade next, and I'll show you what it is. Keep an eye out on my channel. I'm going to be installing this cat fuel filter next in line under the frame somewhere. and. 
talk about a little bit about fuel additives and um, the main engine water um, water separator as well as uh, just fuel filtration in general. Thanks for watching and hopefully this helps.